Hello people of the internet, my name is Johnny and welcome back to another book news video. Now I'm a little late to these announcements. Everything revealed was revealed maybe like a week ago. So just hopping straight into it, we have two things to discuss today. The first one is the official FNAF coloring book, and the second one is the preview for the Twisted Ones graphic novel. So why don't we start off with the coloring book? This shouldn't take too long, we only have the cover revealed so far. So this is the cover for the official final Five Nights at Freddy's coloring book. Now right off the bat, I should mention a lot of people are actually upset about this announcement because they think it's pandering towards kids. Let me just say this, right? I'd buy this. I'd color in the characters. It looks like fun, okay? Yes, FNAF may be aimed towards kids, which even though it's technically not because it's 13 and up, screw off you British people with your 12 plus. <laughs> but honestly, I don't care that this is being made. I know a lot of people are going to want to buy this. They are going to want to color in the puppet and Toy Chica, as you can see on the cover. Speaking of the cover, let's finally talk about it. So honestly, the cover looks kind of meh, <laughs> being 100% honest. It's it's okay, I guess. You have Springtrap front and center on the cover, reaching his hand out. He looks very menacing. On the left, you have Twisted Foxy, and below him, you have what appears to be Phantom Mangle. Either that or just normal mangle. They're not colored in, so it's kind of hard to tell which one it is. Foxy looks cool. He's coming out of the ground. He looks a little different to what the, um, what we're used to Twisted Foxy looking like, but he still looks like Twisted Foxy. I don't know if this is the finished cover, by the way. I kind of hope it's not because, again, it just... It doesn't look all that good, if I'm being, again, if I'm being honest. I think there's just too much white, and I get it. It's a coloring book. You want people to color in all the drawings, but, like, you gotta make it appealing towards people. You know, the only things that are colored in on this cover are Twisted Foxy and Toy Chica. And speaking of Toy Chica, um, she's on the right side along with the puppet up top. The puppet... I don't know what the puppet's doing, man. He's doing like some finger gun type stuff. Toy Chica honestly be looking kind of dummy thick. I don't know why they drew her like that. A lot of people are speculating whether or not there's going to be lore inside this book. And to that I say it's an effing coloring book. Don't expect much. If anything, I mean, I kind of hope this is just a one-off thing. On the wiki, it has a description for the book. It says Five Nights at Freddy's fans won't want to miss this awesome coloring book. Color in scenes featuring all your favorite FNAF characters. Based on the best-selling horror video game series Five Nights at Freddy's. This this coloring book is packed full of terrifyingly wonderful scenes for FNAF fans to color in and enjoy. From Chica and Foxy to Freddy himself, this FNAF extravaganza has 96 pages of coloring fun perfect for any Freddy Fazbear's Pizza super fan. And again, according to the wiki, apparently it has a release date of January 5th of 2021, so that's actually pretty close. So it says there are terrifyingly wonderful scenes for FNAF fans to color in and enjoy. I hope. That means that there's actual scenes from the games and from the books, maybe. You know, it's not, oh, here's a portrait photo of Foxy, you know, color him in. I want to see Foxy peeking out behind Pirate Cove's curtain. I want to see all the band members on stage. Maybe we can see, like, Freddy hanging out in the bathroom. Toy Freddy and Balloon Boy hanging out in the game area in the second game's, you know, location. I think I would much prefer that over just, all right, here's Foxy, color him in. So yeah, honestly, <laughs> we've spent so much time on this coloring book that wasn't necessary. Now, let's move on to the Twisted Ones graphic novel. So not too long ago, a preview for the Twisted Ones graphic novel was released to the public, and this is what it has to show. Starting off with the first page, this is it. And as you can see, it is definitely an upgrade from the last graphic novel. Now, I actually own the original Silver Eyes graphic novel, and I will say, right, I know it's an unpopular opinion, but I actually didn't really mind the artwork in this book. Like, looking through it, it's really not as bad as people say it is, but I know a lot of people wanted change, and thankfully, we're getting change. So Scott has hired a brand new artist to work on this new graphic novel. Their Twitter will be linked down below. So now let's actually take a look at the first page. The first panel, we have Officer Clay. I'm not going to take you through the entire book and what they're saying. I mean, it's on screen. You can read it if you want. I'm going to be talking about the pictures. So yeah, that's Officer Clay up at the top panel. And then it has a flashback to when Charlie and Sammy are in a closet playing. And that is when Spring Bonnie snatches Sammy and takes him away. Now, honestly, it's been a good while since I've read the twist ones. <laughs> I think it was maybe about since it came out was the last time I read it. So my memory is not all too familiar, but I believe that this is near the start of the book when there's a dead 
body found, and Clay gets Charlie to go check it out because it has some, um, some claw marks on it or something. And I think that leads into the reveal of the actual Twisted Ones character. So yeah, that's my memory of it. Maybe it's not 100% correct. We can see Charlie is in the car talking with Officer Clay. They get out of the car to go take a look at the body. They sneak through a fence, they get to the body, and Charlie stares at it with a, um, well, it's an expression. <laughs> Moving on to the third page, this is the same point in the story. So they investigate the marks on the body's back, and it cuts to another flashback. It's hard to tell it's a flashback because there's no color change, there was no subtle transition. It just kind of happens, so that is a flashback showing Brown Spring Bonnie? I guess technically Spring Bonnie is brown because we saw him in the um, the FNAF 4 minigame at the birthday party, but it's just, it's weird to see Spring Bonnie, aka what many people call him Golden Bonnie, as brown, but again, technically it is accurate. They talk a bit more about the body and then they get back in the car where Clay receives a message. And then I'm pretty sure that's another flashback to the spoilers ending of the Silver Eyes where the animatronics carry Dave's aka the purple guy's body away from the characters. And then Charlie bursts out saying we couldn't find his body. And that is the four pages preview. Now I will say, again, I definitely do think that this is a huge huge freaking upgrade from the last graphic novel. My main issues are, and I, 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 I talked about this when I tweeted it out, but my main issues are character expressions and character design. And by character designs, I really just mean one character design, and that is the Spring Bonnie in the first flashback, where he literally is just FNAF 1 Bonnie, which of course is not accurate to the games at all. FNAF 1 Bonnie shouldn't even be, you know, he shouldn't exist at this point in the timeline because it wasn't FNAF 1 Bonnie that took Sammy, it was Spring Bonnie. And I mentioned it earlier, but technically Spring Bonnie is brown because again, in the FNAF 4 minigame, that is his color. It is just a little weird to see him like that, but I completely understand why it's like that. Why he's missing his ear in the next panel confuses me though. And my final nitpick is the expressions of some characters. And by some characters, I mean only Charlie, at least in this preview. Now, don't get me wrong. Again, I think this is a huge upgrade and I appreciate the hard work that goes into all of the panels. I, I'm just saying, some of them look a bit strange. Like Charlie's expression right now in the final panel of the second page just looks a bit strange and I can't really pinpoint what it is. It might just be like that that dead stare, but I don't know, it just, it looks a bit off. And then when they're in the car, Charlie again just looks a bit strange. And again, I can't really pinpoint why it looks weird to me. Like comparing that panel to another panel where Charlie is looking in about the same direction, it just, I don't know, it just looks off. And again, I'm not trying to discredit the artist Claudia at all. I think, again, it's a huge upgrade. Everything looks fantastic. It's just small nitpicks because that's the person I am. So this graphic novel has a release date of February 2nd of 2021, so it is getting pretty close to release. Now I can't say for sure if the previews that we just looked at are the finished panels, but since we are getting pretty close to the release and the panels all look very detailed and finished, you could say, I have a feeling that is probably the finished product. Now, I'm not at all trying to discredit Claudia who worked on the first graphic novel, nor Claudia who worked on the second, and yes, they are both named Claudia. How ironic, I think they both did a good job. I definitely do prefer this new graphic novel more though. Again, I have my issues with it, but they're all very small. So yeah, that is all of the news surrounding these two new books. We're gonna have to wait and find out more info as time goes on. I announced the release date, but again, the coloring book comes out in January, and the graphic novel for the Twisted Ones comes out in February, so we're getting close. You know, the start of next year is going to be pretty hype for books. And of course, next year we are still getting more Fazbear Fright books, so it's just going to be a huge hyped year for FNAF books. But anyways, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all on the flip side.